hey, Coherent uh, announced beams. their earnings, fourth quarter, fiscal 24. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with, if you're not familiar with Coherent, who in the heck is Coherent? So think of broad-based uh, materials all the way to systems tech company, okay? So all the way from materials that uh, are used uh, in high tech uh, to racks of um, fiber optic uh, connectors for hyperscalers uh, end to end. And markets are industrial markets, comms, electronics, and instrumentation markets. Hey, everybody cares about AI. So think about optical transceivers, lasers, lasers, everybody. Uh, and even the materials for building uh, AI semis, laser manufacturing systems, cooling and sensing. Jim, well, why are we covering this company on here? Well, Jim Anderson, uh, prior executive at AMD and then CEO at Lattice Semiconductor, is now the CEO of Coherent. Uh, the company is around uh, $5 billion dollars and has 26,000 uh, employees. So a very sizable uh, organization. And I'll let you hit the earnings. I, I What I wanted to do, what I thought was more interesting is just almost giving an introduction uh, to, to the company, but also what Jim talked about on the call, right? New CEO, what do investors wanna know about? What do you think? What are your first impressions and what's going to change and what's in it for me? Right. So uh, Jim reiterated the $60 billion SAM, biggest growth opportunity, optical transceivers. He said he was also excited about next gen telecom systems. Once we get the dipsy doodle up, advanced displays like the latest OLED, uh, semi cap equipment, industrial automation, and of course, EVs. Can you get all the hottest bu buzzwords in there? I think we can. Let's go. And he said he was focused on three things, right? Very classic CEO, culture, strategy, uh, and operations, right? He wants to simplify. He wants to speed everything up. Sounds very similar to Lattice, where I think they quadrupled uh, the amount of new products coming out of the pipe at a much higher profit margin. He wants to right-size the growth engines, right? That says pour more investment on things that are growing, stop investing and divest in lower performing businesses. And he said, stay tuned more at investor day. A lot on operations you talked about, but I'll leave, leave some oxygen for you. Yeah, the playbook with Jim at Lattice, if, if he's gonna bring it over here, was really about, you know, building out that culture, building out strength for growth, and then expanding product portfolio. He did that very, very well, very um, strategically too. Got the developers on board, went from that kind of very low end to mid tier. If you notice, there was a trend line for like 11 or 12 quarters, but even through its rougher patches, a margin expansion. So very focused on operational excellence, uh, very much part of the ethos uh, and probably why he was identified to, to, to take this, this company by the helm. So one of the things, Pat, you, you covered a lot of the ground and, and, you know, you and I are both kind of first timers really digging into this. When the company did a double beat, it is down year on year, kind of like we talked about with Cisco with revenue. But I think it, it's part of the kind of shrinking that we saw in some different company spaces only for growth that's coming up ahead. It was very interesting to hear about kind of how critical their technology is to so many others. It's another made me think of that BASF commercial when I was a kid, you know, the, we don't make most of the things you, you use. We make most of the things you use better. Yeah. Um, whether it's giant, you know, semiconductor manufacturing machines or, you know, very specific uh, materials that go into things like, you know, uh, maybe a really smart watch that a lot of people use. Um, this company has technology, and I think that's going to be one of the things I'm going to be focusing a lot on as we start to kind of inform and educate the market is where does coherent technology exist inside of things that you understand and, and know how to use? Yeah. Things like materials are very hard for people to understand. So like an area that they're in like silicon carbide, it's like, it, this is about thermals, for instance. So this is a company that's doing materials for thermal. So if you've heard a trend line, companies like Vertiv, where you're hearing a lot about 
efficient uh, AI, you know, data center efficiencies and su such not. Like that comes down to a number of different components. It's, it's systems that are used for cooling, for instance, they create more efficient uh, designs. These more efficient designs mean lower power use. Companies like Coherent are in the mix with these particular uh, types of technologies. So, but this is everywhere, and their, their portfolio is so diverse, Pat. I mean, it kind of really does cover. You know, we we say about the lasers, but you know, you've got transceivers, and you've got materials, and you know, just up and down the stack. And they're involved in so many different uh, designs and manufacturing that they have a really diversified portfolio, which I think makes them compelling. Um, you and I, this is going to be one that it's going to take more education. It's going to take more time. But uh, we've seen this with the likes of Lattice and FPGAs. We spend time on it. We invest uh, some effort and uh, learn. And hopefully everybody out there can get some benefit from this. Pat, it's an interesting company with some strong results. And now it's got some strong proven leadership that uh, we know knows how to get it done.